And if we look at this, we understand that his thirst could be understood literally. For it was not at all strange that he was thirsty. For if you look at the Bible, we find him thirsty during the journey. Mm -hmm. For everybody remember when he went to the well and spoke to the Samaritan woman. He was at the well and he said, give me a drink. And she looked at him and said, now how can you get a drink when I don't see any tools in your hand? Uh -huh. And then he looked at that Samaritan woman that he told her now, if you knew who I was, you would give, you would ask me for a drink of living water. Come on, somebody. All right. And the Bible says he's thirsty then and now. As we get to the end of the road, we find our Lord and Savior thirsty at the end of the journey. And we ask ourselves, he might well be thirsty after all the toil and strife he had undergone. And being now in the agony of death, ready to perish by the loss of blood and by the sure pain that he all faced. Right. And I understand that his thirst could be understood spiritually. Mm -hmm. Remember, the torments of hell are represented by a bodily thirst. Yeah. Somebody might say, Pastor, what are you talking about? Well, it's confirmed in the complaint of the rich man. Mm -hmm. Don't you remember the rich man begged for a drop of water yes, so that I can cool my tongue? Mm -hmm. And I come to tell you, to that everlasting thirst, you and I have been condemned. Yeah. Had not Christ suffered and died for us, right. he thirsts after the salvation of his people. For the Bible said in Isaiah 55, 1 through 2, which was an invitation to the thirst. He said, come all you who are thirsty, come to the waters. And you that have no money, come by these. You know, sometimes it blows folks' mind that you can have all of this to kill your thirst and you don't have to have no debit card. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have a credit card. Oh, yeah. But God said, I'll give it to you free. Right. You don't need no money. Yes, Come by, ride and live without money and without no cost. Yes. You know, some of them ain't, ain't used to when folks teach you right. <laughs> but some folks teach you good. Uh -huh. We have some time when we get things and it's free that it must not be no good. Uh -huh. But I come to tell you that what? God has got the quality of life. Yes. He said, Come and see, for I have salvation, those that thirst. He said, Why spend money mm -hmm. on things that are not great? Yeah. I come to tell you, I learned a long time ago, as much as though what you cast up in the hat, what you do for heaven, is the only thing that will last. I remember when I used to hear the old folks say, I'm throwing up timber. No. And I was looking for the young boy and I couldn't see no wood. Oh, I right. said, what are they looking about? They thought they are throwing up timber. Yeah. But I done got older now and I'm throwing up some timber for myself. Yeah. Yeah. But I found out, but only what you do for Christ will last. Yeah. Yeah. Why spend money on what does not break? Yeah. And on your labor, on what does not, does not satisfy? And it's, and it's funny, you find folks working all the days of their life, but they ain't doing nothing for the Lord. Right. And don't you know when judgment day comes, all the houses that you done built, yeah. all the fine cars you've been driving, all of your European vacations you've been taking, well. ain't gonna mean nothing to the Lord. Oh, just because you grab it from Notre Dame, yell a heart. Won't be nothing for the Lord. So what the God is going to ask you, what have you done for the kingdom of the Lord? So why labor on something that won't satisfy? The Bible said in this, he said, listen, listen to me. And I want you to ask I want you to eat what is good. I come and tell you that everything that's in the Bible is good. And you need to eat. But then they say, eat and see, and find out for yourself that the Lord is sweet. Right. I, I come to tell you, some of you don't know the Lord because you refuse to eat. Mm -hmm. You get to the Lord's table and then you're playing like you're going to die. But I come to tell you, you need to feast, look and see, taste right. that the Lord is good. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, mm -hmm. And he said, what you do that, that your soul will delight in the rich. Don't you know that God got rich? But the Bible said that the Lord here opened up the windows of heaven and pour you out of blessing. Yes, Anybody feel like they're blessed this morning? Yeah. They're pouring you out of blessing that you can't even hope. Yeah. It is riches and glory. Yeah. I come and tell you the Bible said he owned the cattle on a thousand hills. Yeah. My God got everything. 
everything that you need and that you want. <laughs> seek and see. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Yeah. Mm. God is thirsty for his people yeah. to receive salvation. I'm coming to tell you there's going to be some distress. There's going to be some stressful time. All right. Come on. But the Bible tells me in Matthew when he was talking about the return of Jesus. Yeah. It spoke of the day that there's going to be some days of distress. Yeah. There's going to be some end day. Matthew lets me know that the Bible said that now as he was sitting on my heart, we're talking about Jesus, the disciples came, during these stressful times. And they came, they want a private meeting. They said, tell us Jesus, when will these things be? And what will be the sign of your coming? And when will be the time of the end of the age? And the Bible said that Jesus looked at them and asked and said to them, I want you to take heed, I want you to be cautious, y'all, that no one deceives you. Don't you know it's some lying folks up in this world? Yeah. They get up lying, they walk around lying, and they go to sleep lying. Right. But he said, be in the word of God and be careful that no one deceives you. Right. But don't you know that you will mess around you let somebody else send you to hell. Ah. Come on somebody. Right. For it said many will come, not just a few. Mm. But I heard it said that when God sent out one, the devil got to send out ten. <laughs> because they're counterfeit. Right. But he said now be careful that no one will because many will come in my name saying I am the Christ. Yeah. And the Bible said what well, hurts me the most that they will deceive men. Yeah. What we're saying that there's some folks that just, just quite ain't quite got their thing together. They sit in church, they smiling, they looking good, man, but you wait till the devil come and tell them anything. They have them outside the church right. talking about the pastor, talking about the deacon, talking about what the men with the music ain't pray. <laughs> Be careful. Yeah, right. no one. I ain't gonna let nobody send me to hell. No. If you ain't talking about what's said in this Bible, I don't want to hear no junk. Right. Stop getting into stupid conversations that don't really make no difference. Okay. If we ain't talking about how to get saved, get right and witness to the law, I don't want to hear. All right. Amen. All right. Amen. All right. Amen. Yeah. Be careful, but every minute they will come to see you, deceive you, and you will hear a war. And, and rumors, well, I'm talking about some distressful times, y'all. All right, come and, and you will see, you are not, but he said, don't be troubled. Mm -hmm. uh, there will be wars mm -hmm. and rumors of war. Mm -hmm. But the Bible said, don't be troubled. Nope. We got folks talking a whole lot about what's happening in North Korea. Yes. Don't you know what? I, I'm not worried about North Korea. Not at all. Because God got this. Right. <laughs> but we need to be worried about some folks getting it, because if something happened got from North Korea, we got plenty of folks right here ain't even saved yet. Mm. That's what I need to be worried about. Right. Who's got to be saved? Who needs to know the Lord? Because mm -hmm. the Bible said there's going to be wars. Mm. And there's going to be rumors of war. Yes. But the Bible tells me, don't be choked. Why would he tell me not to be choked? Because my God, he got this. That's right. I need to be, be, be worried and focus on other things. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. For he said, the Bible says, now not Pastor Mitch, he said, for these things mm -hmm. must come to pass. These war, they must come to pass. Yeah. He said, now, they gonna happen. Yeah. You can't do nothing about that. They gonna happen. Yeah. But he said, this is not the end yet. Mm -hmm. He said, nation <laughs> will rise against nation. Uh -huh. and, and kingdoms yes. against kingdoms. Yes. And there will be families. You know, some of us, we sit around and we get we blown away by these natural disasters. The Bible said, now, these things are going to come back. They will be. Mm -hmm. No matter how much money you, <coughs> you give mm -hmm. or you donate, certain things are going to happen. Yeah. Thus says the word of the Lord. Amen. The Bible said, there will be famines and pestilences. Mm -hmm. There's going to be earthquakes in diverse places. Yes. Right. These things are going to happen. But the Bible says after all these horrible things that are going to happen, <laughs> Go ahead. he said, now this is just the beginning. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. All right. Ain't seen nothing yet. You ain't seen nothing. This is just the beginning right. of your sorrows. Yeah. This is just the beginning of your stress. Go ahead. This is just the beginning of your woes. Mm -hmm. For the Bible said in these stressful times, when they come, Go ahead. that the sun 
will be dark. Yeah. Yeah. And the Bible says that the moon will not give any light. Mm -hmm. And the stars will fall from the sky. Mm -hmm. And the heavenly bodies will be shaken. Yeah. And the Bible said at that time the sign of the Son of Man oh, no. yeah. will appear in the sky. Instead of a happy time, the Bible said that all nations on the earth will mourn. Yeah. Somebody might add while they mourn. Yeah. Well, you understand that the Bible said in the name of Jesus, all right. Jesus. every knee shall bow. Yes. Every tongue confess yes. that he is Lord of Lord and King of Kings. Yes. So you will have all them saints, sinners. When they break the sky, they see the sign and say, oh my God, mm -hmm. he's free. Yes. Mm. He's real. Yeah. They told me about it, but I, I wouldn't believe it. He is real. Mm -hmm. Look. Don't you think it's going to be some crying times? Yes, mm -hmm. indeed. And I'm going to it's going to be some crying times. Because some of those same folks that don't be going, mm -hmm. don't be saying it's going to be some of your family. Mm -hmm. Some of your best friends. Uh -huh. That you tried to tell them, but they refused to told you to get out of there. In fact, they called your name. <laughs> Did somebody call you a holy roll? Yeah. Bible, Bible peddler. Yeah. Get out of my face. Mm -hmm. Then they got married and grouped us all together. You all you Christian ain't no good no way. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cause that's what I heard. Oh yeah, it's gonna be some crime. Mm -hmm. I said it's gonna be some crime. Yeah. The Bible, you know, some folks sometimes it says it's gonna be a nation of tea. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know what you do, but you know a nation of tea man really get on my nerves. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't like this sound like somebody scratching on a chalkboard. <laughs> that just don't really sound like it gets on my nerve. Mm. But the Bible said that there's going to be some morning, y'all. Mm. When it comes. All right. But they will see the Son of Man mm. coming on the clock. Go ahead. Oh, glory. Go ahead. On the sky with power. Oh, yes. I say he's going to be coming with power. Yes. I say he's going to be coming with power. Yes. And glory. Yes. I'm going to say when he comes back, y'all, yes. he's going to come back sharp. He ain't gonna go out. They ain't gonna go out. He ain't gonna go out when they got to be peppered and, and, and the soldiers sharing the toes. Uh -huh. But when he come back, he come back with power. Uh -huh. And he come with glory. Yeah. He gonna have the angels with him, y'all. Uh -huh. He gonna have the angels growing the chunks yeah. when he come back. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. I come to tell you that I found out in life. In times of great distress, it's also time of great anointing. Yes. I said it's time of great distress. Yes. It's also time of a great anointing. Yes. I'm going to tell you, when you go going through, there's a time when God's going to come and show up, mm. and he's going to show up. Yes. I said it's time of great distress. Yes. It's a time of great anointing. Yes. I'm going to tell you, to get your word of encouragement today. Mm. Then when the stress comes your way, and surely it will come. Yeah. I like you to look at Psalms 121, verses 1 and 2. And it simply says, when I lift up my eye yeah. unto the heat. Yeah. Come on, somebody. I'm saying when you're going through and can't see your way out. If you just get on your knees and 
Thank <laughs> you.